So let's get into the very basics of uh, animating artwork with ProMotion. Uh, the first thing you're going to do, uh, usually what you would do, uh, is start with a uh, a character or whatever you want to animate. Maybe you just made a little uh, frame or a keyframe or something of that sort, and it's just currently one image. It's not, and not an animation at all. So the first thing that you would do or might do is go into animation number of frames and then set how many frames you think you're going to need. It is extremely easy to add or delete frames later on, so just your best guess is, is more than enough. So I'm just going to say eight. I don't even know what I'm going to animate yet, but it doesn't really matter. So once I do that, what it does is it automatically creates, if you look down here now, it says the number one, which says current frame, if you float the mouse over it, then you've got a scroll bar here to go through your different frames, which currently all look exactly like the first image you had when you told it you wanted to look at the image. And here shows you the last frame. And get used to as soon as possible the uh, shortcut keys for advancing through uh, both forward and backward through your animation. Uh, by default, I believe it's the one and two keys, so that's what I'm used to. So it's very easy to go back and forward through frames. Uh, also, the number four key will play and loop your animation, but currently there's no difference to anything. So let's say very quickly that I just want to create an eight frame uh, sort of idle bouncing animation for this character, which I'm not going to take very far, um, but just as an example. So what you can do is I'm just going to grab the top part of his body as a brush and right click to erase, and I'm going to start at one of the extremes. So let's say he starts leaning back quite far along these lines, and then I just press the one key to advance a frame, and I erase again with the right button, and I press, I can press shift one to go back to the very first frame, and I can um, advance through the frames with the two key. So I'm just using the one and two key to go forward and back. So as you see, his, uh, his upper body is starting to move, and now on this frame, uh, I'm just moving him further forward. Before. There we go, something like that. And then this brain. Again, I'm erasing his body there. And I'm starting to bring his upper body down. And then down to perhaps the most extreme. So now I know for a fact that I don't need eight frames. That's more than that'll be more than smooth enough. So what I'm going to do is uh, just advance to the next frame I'm not using. We press Control, Delete. There we go one more time. And now uh, I've got only the uh, six frames that I'm going to need. And while the four key plays and loops the animation, the six key bounces the animation. That's looking great, huh? So I'm going to see this number down here, 40. That's, that's the frames per second. Uh, I'm going to tell that I'm affecting all frames. And I'm going to drastically slow this down. Let's see what that looks like. I'm just going to press 6, which is the loop. It's still too fast, but you can see the idea. This is a very fast way to slow down some more. Make sure it's all frames. Click OK. So basically, what we have is traditional page flipping animation. Um, so I can see where there are problems that he, his upper body should have gone down quite a bit. So I can just grab his uh, upper body again. And erase with the right mouse button. Down through. So yeah, his upper body should have been so right here. And start to lower his upper body. Plus and minus to ignore the control. That's somewhat better, but it gives you the idea. That's the basic idea of uh, creating an animation, telling it how many frames. Uh, if you need to insert a frame, like let's say I feel it jumps too much here and I really use a frame in between the two, I just go to uh, the frame that I want to double and press control insert, and that just uh, added a duplicate frame right here. Now I'm advancing between frames, but they, again, look identical, so I can go to the frame that I've, the new duplicate frame I've created, erase that upper body, look where I'm heading, and snip it. 
place. Press 6 again to preview it. And, uh, it's a bit small. So that's the very basic, basics of it, but in the next video I'll get a lot more. So just 